Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Take one look around Scott Stadium in Charlottesville and see all of the orange and blue, and you know this. They are not taking a cavalier attitude toward winning at UVA. Virginia's wrapping up pregame warm-up. The opportunity to get that big home W is coming up. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. setting for this incredible football battle. And now let's head down to the coin toss. Brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Virginia is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. It's fielded at the two. Heading for the corner. Steps out of bounds around the 38-yard line. The Broncos offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. Boise State's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Throws, and he's got a man. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Time to check in on Rustin. And for SMU, they remain red hot. SMU dropped the hammer and wins it big. Meanwhile, let's take a look at Lubbock. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. And for Cade, he gets off with big numbers. Five touchdown passes on the day. After this performance, only one way to describe him. Flat boy dog warrior. The Red Raiders get an eight-point win. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Boise State to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Everybody was fooled on that one. And that was a good job here by the quarterback. That good a play fake is a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this.
And he's taken down at the 45. That makes it second and two. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 45. First down there on a five-yard pass. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down at the 18. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. First and 10. Ball on the 18. Seventeen yard line. That's second and nine. He scrambled. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And down he goes around the eight yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Mike 55, Mike 55, E, 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 E. They'll get him for a loss. Great job here in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. Kick is up, and they tack on three points. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese, let's head to Morgantown. This game was tighter than spandex on a sumo wrestler. West Virginia finishes at 24-20 in another game. Let's take a look at some scores from around the country. And for Rutgers, the first score comes with a rushing touchdown. And for Eaton, he scored a touchdown. Rutgers on top, 7-0. 7-3 in this one. Virginia to kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Boise State is up by four. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. He let that pass get away from him. I think he's a little bit anxious. He actually looked a little bit too juiced that time, but he'll get the next one. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 26. Here we go, Jack. He's to the 40. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. First down. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. He's under pressure. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. That makes it second and ten. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down.
Nice pitch and catch for the first down. He's taken down at the 18-yard line. First down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Touchdown, Boise State. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. Had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary. But the quarterback finds his receiver wide open for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 29. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. And they make the stop around the 39 yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Short gain there by the halfback for the first down. He worked hard to get that first down. It won't go down as much in the box score, but he got the couple yards that he needed. As we expected coming into this game, this one appears to be under control. 14-3, Bronco. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. He fights forward to about the 43. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on their own 43. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Well, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. went for nearly enough to keep moving but they're stopped just short boy that's tough that is always a tough pill to swallow having to leave the field knowing how close you came to converting on third down you gotta get those price awaiting the return he dropped it Locked down at the 26 i'll tell you a few plays in football can test your concentration like returning punts you got to see the ball into your hands while not worrying about being hit It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Play fake and looking to run. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. That's a gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. There's a strike complete. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Gets it. He's in space. He's at the 40. 
Right down. Right around the 40. Boy, this guy really showed some giddy up getting down the field for a big game. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. Here's the eighth play of the series. Throws complete. He stopped immediately. Gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. From the 24 yard line, it's second down. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on nice second down. Down. Tenth play of the drive. Taken down at about the seven yard line. They get only a yard from the pass play. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. It's the 11th play of the drive. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game of seven on the play. That makes it 30 more. From the one yard line. Third down. The short yardage defense here. Here we go. Three and eight. Hands it off, and he's in for the score. That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. So they're going to review this and try to determine exactly where the ball should be spotted down. I didn't see anything in particular that would make the coach want to challenge this, but he must have seen something to want to review this one. To review, review the play, play. The, ruling the ruling on the field, on the field is, is reversed. So they'll respot the ball, and we'll get this game going again. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. We take you down to Dura. There was never any room to breathe in this game. 
And for Francis, he threw for more than 150 yards. The Wildcats get the W, 27-24. All right, thanks, Reese. Cook looks ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. And down he goes at the 34. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's on the run. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. Virginia is going to use their first time out of the half here. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 35-yard line. Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down at the 47. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle at the 44-yard line. Slings it, and he hits him hard at the 18. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. He flings it. Incomplete pass. We played a half of football. The Broncos lead 17-3. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses first and foremost did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. The Broncos continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. We've got a second and 11. Ball on their own 21. And down he goes at about the 23 yard line. That'll make it 39. Down. Brad, not 
not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He's at the 40, and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He steps out around the 34-yard line. That makes it 37. That's good for a gain of nine yards. First down. It's first and ten. Ball in the 25. Two times, two times. Makes it to the 22 yard line. That makes it second and six. He's under pressure. He's taken down right around the 14-yard line. First down. From the 14-yard line, it's first down. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Has some daylight. Nice run, and he's brought down. Third down. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And they make the stop around the four-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it first and goal. It's the ninth play of the drive. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. And he's tackled at the one-yard line. It's second and goal. Ball on the one-yard line. On the pass, touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. Boise State to kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 43.
First and ten. Ball on the 43. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Gaining two yards. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. That is a loss of four yards. One more quarter to play, and this one appears to be well under control. 24 to three, Boise State. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. And he's getting the ball here. And he's getting down. the ball. Down. Motion, motion, motion. Motion. Oh, down, down. He scrambled. Brought down around the 47 yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He tackles him for a loss. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. From their own 43-yard line, second down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line. That's a smart play here by the quarterback. He threw it into the window the zone coverage gave him. Nice pass and a nice job by the receiver running the slant. From the 42-yard line, first down. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Now he pitches it. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. That makes it 37. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Get to that quickly. He's tackled at about the 25 yard line. From the 22-yard line, second down. Just over two minutes in the game. Makes it to the 11. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. And this play is number eight on the drive. Ninth play of this drive. A 
again with the run. Gets to about the 11 yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Sanders gets six yards on the play. That makes it fourth and four. This one's in the books. The Broncos with a victory, 24-3. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.